Hello everyone. In this video, I'll talk about the different methods used for the integration of Azure DevOps Pipeline and GitHub. This is a concept and lab video where first I'll explain the different methods and show them in lab how they can be implemented. So let's start. Basically, there are three authentication types, personal access token, OAuth and GitHub application. PAT or personal access token is the oldest one which was used for the integration of Azure pipelines with GitHub. In this method, a personal access token is created in the GitHub where it has required access provided to the repository which we want to integrate with Azure pipeline. Once the personal access token is created in the GitHub, this token is used in creating the service connection in the Azure pipelines. So this is a long duration token which once created cannot be rotated into the Azure DevOps. And the major disadvantage is that a user has to create the personal access token in the GitHub. And in case the user loses the access to the repository or that person's ID is disabled because of leaving the organization or any other reason, then automatically all your pipelines will start failing. I'll quickly show this in lab how a personal access token can be generated and then used in the service connection for Azure Pipeline. I'm logged into Azure DevOps now. And to create a service connection for the pipeline, we have to go to the project settings, pipelines and service connection. In the service connection, you have to create a new service connection and then look for GitHub and next. By default, it shows the grant authorization method, but we are not going to choose that because that is the recommended method and the third one, which, which is GitHub application. And I'll show that one in the end. So let's use the personal access token. And here you have to provide the personal access token, which will be generated in the GitHub. And the recommended scopes are repo user admin repo hook. Let's go to GitHub. In the GitHub, I have one organization with the name shell in the YouTube org. And there is one single repository, which I have created test repo. There is nothing in it. It's empty repository now. So to create the personal access token, you have to go to your user settings. And in there, you have to go in the end, the developer settings. Once you'll click on that, you will see personal access tokens. And there are two options, fine grain tokens, which is recently launched and is in beta. And the old one is the tokens, which are classic. However, the recommendation of the scope here is based on the classic. So I'll show the classic one. Let's go to the classic, generate a new token. Let's create a new classic token. Let's name it as test token. So here the option is repo user for select the repo. So it shows the status deployment, the public repositories, invites and security events where it can read email or follow up the users. And the third one is admin repo hooks. So full control of the repository hooks. Select all these three and generate token. And this is the personal access token, which is created. You have to copy this token, provide it here. Verify the verification is successful. I'll name it as test token connection. Grant permissions to all the pipelines, verify and save. So here the service connection is created using the personal access token, but this is an older method and we don't recommend using this method because there are two reasons. First, you can't provide repository specific access in this case. And the second one is this personal access token is tied to your user account. And in case something happens to your user account or your access is revoked for that repository, then this service connection become useless and all your pipelines will start failing. So let's delete this service connection. Next authentication method is OAuth authentication, whose full form is open authorization. So OAuth works on token based system where the tokens are exchanged between the source and the target. And based on that authorization happens. This is little bit better than personal access token because once the service connection is created using personal access token, then the token cannot be rotated. However, in the case of OAuth access, you can rotate your secrets and provides a better authentication method. 
But the drawback of this authentication method is also similar to personal access token. Because this authentication method is tied to your user account, which means in case your user lose access to the repository or lose complete access to the GitHub account, in that case, your pipeline will start failing. So let me show you the OAuth authentication in the lab. I am in the Azure DevOps portal and to set up the OAuth configuration, you have to go to the organization, then organization settings and in the pipelines, OAuth configurations. Now add OAuth configuration here. Give any name, test, select GitHub github url so let's go to the github and check the github url so this is the repository we want the integration with so let's copy the link and client id and secret now let's create auth application in github and then create client id and secret so again we'll go to the user settings same way in the end developer settings auth apps and new auth app let's give the name test home url page so let's open the url again or we can just copy it from here this is the repository url so instead of repository we'll provide the url of the organization then callback url the same url we can use and register application. Now a client ID is generated, but you can generate a new client secret too. And from here, you have to just copy the client ID and client secret. And just create. And the auth configuration is created. And this is how you can use the auth configuration. The benefit of using the auth over personal access token is that you, you can generate new client secrets and use it in your auth configuration. So by this way, you can place your client secrets, create a new one and then delete the old one. But for now I'll revoke everything and in the auth configuration, I can delete this one too. Last authentication type is GitHub app authentication. In this case, Azure pipeline application is installed in the GitHub organization and the granular level access is provided to them. And the best part is you don't have to configure the Azure DevOps part as well as the GitHub part separately, but using the Azure DevOps service connection, it will be automatically configured. The prerequisites for setting this up is that your user should have admin level access on GitHub as well as Azure DevOps so that you can create a service connection in DevOps pipeline and install and provide access in GitHub. In this case, once the authorization is done by the user, there is no exchange of any client secrets or the personal access token. GitHub application works on OAuth 2.0 where the short-lived tokens are exchanged when the access is required by the Azure pipeline on the GitHub. And GitHub application authentication has no dependency on the user credentials. So if my user access is revoked from the GitHub, still the pipelines will work fine as the service connection will work on short-lived tokens, which will be exchanged between Azure DevOps and the Azure DevOps application in the GitHub. So let's check this setup in lab and see how it works. To set up the service connection, you have to first go to the project settings and in the pipeline service connections. Create a new service connection, look for GitHub, next, and in this case, we'll grant authorization. So we'll choose the Azure pipelines for the OAuth configuration and authorize. And as you can see, this is the organization which we have. Authorization access will be provided for this organization. And the admin level access on the webhooks and the services, the personal data will be read and the public and private repositories where the code issues, pull requests, and all these different types of access are provided automatically. So let's authorize these pipelines. 
and this worked immediately because I am already logged into GitHub in another tab. So let's change the service connection name GitHub app connection and grant access permission to all the pipeline and save. Now the service connection is created. Let's go to a pipeline and see whether this service connection is working fine or not. And the pipelines create a new pipeline and select the GitHub for the source. And you don't see any repository here. The reason is the service connection is created for the GitHub. However, our repository is in the organization. So let's select all repositories and we can see in the organization, there is a test repository. Select this. Now what's happening here is we have already been given access to the GitHub, but our access for the organization was still not provided. So now it's asking to install Azure pipeline application in the organization and either we can choose all repositories, but because this is the only repository where we want to do the integration. So that's why we are choosing this one and it's automatically picking up the permissions which are required like read access to metadata and then the read and write access to check codes, commit status and everything and approve and install. And let's go back to DevOps now. And we can configure the pipeline now. So let's click on the starter pipeline. And this file Azure pipelines.yml will be saved into GitHub repository. So let's save and run. Commit directly to the main branch. And it's creating the pipeline now. So the pipeline is created now and it should be successful soon. It's waiting for the agent to prepare. And by the time we can see whether the pipeline file is already created in the GitHub repository or not. Let's go to the GitHub. Refresh. And you can see the Azure pipelines.yml file. So that means now Azure DevOps is integrated with GitHub. So now using the Azure DevOps, we can make changes into the GitHub repository as well as we can trigger the Azure pipeline while making changes into the GitHub repository. And the pipeline is successful. It just ran one line script, hello world. And let's check what has changed in the GitHub. So if we'll go to the user settings again, and this time in the user settings, let's go to the application for the integration. Install GitHub application authorized, but this one is auth application. Azure pipeline auth. It's saying it has different permissions which are provided and it has organization level access also. Now let's go to the organization and see whether this application is available there. Let's select the organization, view organization and in the settings. Let's go to GitHub application, third party access GitHub applications. And here you can see the Azure pipeline. Let's configure it. And it's clearly showing that it has access to only one repository, which we have provided and all the different permissions, which it asked during the creation of service connection. Now the OAuth tokenization is happening between Azure pipeline and the GitHub. And these are short lived tokens. So whenever Azure pipeline would like to access GitHub, it will request a token to GitHub and then the access is provided. And there is no use of any client secret or personal access token. So in case my user access is revoked, still the integration between the Azure pipeline and the GitHub will work. So to summarize this video, we have discussed the three different authentication method for the integration of Azure pipeline with GitHub. The first one was the personal access token. The second one was OAuth authentication and the third one is GitHub application, which is the most recommended one. We discussed all these methods in detail and showcase 
and how the recommended method where we use GitHub application works in creating the service connection. So that's all for this video. I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much.